things on the side of my head, the mattress for holding the machine. Fine. I wanted to do a temporal artery biopsy on a patient, and your girlfriend ignored me. Classic. You know, what? She's totally supportive and nurturing, but she'll never take an intern's medical opinion. She's just not her way. Former Randall from Blockbuster perched on June 16th, 2003, and I have to tape up the top so you can see because it was coming off. Now, um, as y'all may notice, I already have the copy to this tape, which I already still have, which I bought him back in June 2017. Yep, I still have this copy. You all are never going to believe this. You'll find out why in a minute. <clears throat> this was printed on October 27th, 2002. Unfortunately, throughout the whole tape, it was kind of damaged, so that's like what the main reason why I bought a narrow copy to this tape. And I even just tested out this, and it plays great, so I may keep this alright, but as for this one, I'm kind of gonna have to throw it away after, after I'm done this video. This is a copy, like to this next tape, like which I already still have, like which I will show you, like in a second, once after, like when I'm done, like showing you this. This is another one, like which a former Randall for Blockbuster perched on September 8th to bust and frame. This the new copy is the Canadian copy. The another one, like which I already have, like is the American USA. This is the narrow copy like to this tape like which I already still have all this time. And like as you can see like the top's creased and like it's a little bit in bad condition. It was originally printed on. <clears throat> it was originally printed on July third, two thousand three. July third, two thousand three. Like yeah, this copy to this tape like is kind of damaged throughout the whole tape. So this is another one like which that one is also kind of damaged like throughout the whole tape. So that's like what the main reason why I bought this new copy. And I even just tested out this tape, and this one still plays great and it works great to plus it up. So I might keep this one. Well, also for another one, I'm kind of gonna have to throw it away also after the video. Okay, and now like for the next two spare copies like to this tape Now um as y'all may notice I already have this tape, but that's like what the main reason why I buy an hour copy to this tape Because of the Warner Brothers hits tape Yeah, I already have this tape, but I have to get this one because for my Warner Brothers hits VHS collection <clears throat> But however, the actual tape itself is still from 1996. <clears throat> Printed on January 28th, 1996. And as you can see, I actually stopped reading the numbers and the saw labels from now on because it's kind of getting me annoying. So that's what the main reason why I've decided to stop doing this one. Yep, since if I already have the original copy to this tape, I'll still keep this one. But as for the one about this hits tape of this, I'm also gonna have to keep this one for now also. So, yep. I have to tape up like to this case like it was ripped and torn To bust it to black tape me prints 
print date is the 12th week of 2002. And um, as you could see, as you could tell by this lid, like, yeah, it came in a little bit broken. And look at this. Like, without, like, touching this, like, yeah, as you could see, like, yeah, it opens up by itself. So I'm not sure, like, if this tape is going to play good or not, but, like, I'm going to have to check. And as y'all may notice, I already have like the copy to this tape, but it was an 8 bus and 3 reprint, while this like for another new copy is a 2 bus and 2 reprint. Yep, and I'll might keep both copies like to this tape, the 2 bus and 2 reprint and 2 bus and 3 reprint. And this one I bought from the same seller as Ta Tubby's It's Time to Run Around 2 bus and 4 VHS. Like, yeah, I kind of like the 2 bus and 2 reprint, so that's the main reason why I ordered like an hour copy to this tape but I'm still going to keep it to bus and free reprint but like as for this to bus and two reprint I'm gonna have to keep this one also like for now on. So yeah. Alright and now for the next free tapes like which I already didn't have yet. This next one is of course another good times tape for my collection. Since this is a good times tape, I think we all know what this has at the end. Another Sony Pictures Classics tape for the collection. Oh. Oops. Top side. Tops up. Tops upside down. My apologies. Sorry everybody, if I can excuse myself for a minute, I can make this barcode focus to the... There we go. The third week of 1997 is the print date, so this is a later reprint. Alright, and now for this last feature for this update, this is my second Walmart exclusive tape, and this is a rare one. Yeah, this tape is rare. I've been kept looking for this one everywhere, and now I finally have it. I finally got this one. My second Walmart exclusive tape, like, which I already still have, was Nick Jr.'s The Imagine That. Which I still have this tape, like, which happens to be right up here. Like, a sick and seep. This copy is ultra rare because the Canadian copy read in an American USA, like which I was pretty lucky to find this one at a trip store back in December 2017. So yes, this was my first ever Walmart exclusive tape, like which I ever bought. And now I have my second Walmart exclusive tape to go with it. And I'm absolutely do hoping to find Nickelodeon Nick Struck Events at 2, like, which I know it has this one, which I'm currently looking for this one, so I'm hoping to find this one as soon as possible. So yeah, this is the one which I'm do hoping to find, but as uh, for this one, Nick Struck Events, I'm very lucky to have this one. Print date, 5th week of 2003. Yep, I'm very lucky to have this one. Took so long to find this one, and now I finally own it. Alright, and now that is it like for the VHS tapes, and now like for the 5 DVDs. The next 
the first four DVDs like which are Thomas and Friends DVDs and the first four Thomas and Friends DVDs I got from Valley Village but as for the one that's not Thomas and Friends then that means I got it from Amazon.ca today which I might show it to you in just a minute okay Yeah, I've scored four bunch of Thomas and Friends DVDs for my collection. This one I actually do need to refurbish. On the DVD version of this, it had two sing-along songs. It had Donald Stuck and Toby instead of the music video, The Night Train, like which was originally released it on VHS. Because I'm stubborn. It's because you're not accountable. I have this one on VHS. It's on me. And that's how it should be, I mean, it turns me to I would say right now, this video like was the first ever Thomas and Friends BHS and DVD to be like released from Hit Entertainment. So, yeah, this video was the first ever Thomas and Friends BHS and DVD like to be released from Hit Entertainment. So yeah, this one I also have to refurbish. Here we go. For some reason, it doesn't have like a sing-along song like with Shindare, but whatever, I can deal with it. This is another one like which I also have on VHS and I do remember renting this DVD from Richmond Hill Public Library years ago. And as of the VHS version of this, I also remembered renting like the VHS version of this from Richmond Hill Public Library either back in 2006 and 2008. And now I finally like got my new own copy like of this DVD and like including the VHS which I already still have. So yeah. On this disc, it didn't have anything on the back, but just a little bit of free bunch of fingerprints on it. Like, yeah, on this back of the disc, there was nothing but except free little bit of fingerprints. So I used to spray it like for the GFG Easy Pro, and now it looks kind of good. Yep. This is another DVD, like which I also remembered renting it from Richmond Hill Public Library years ago. Oh, great. This one I did not need to refurbish at all because there was nothing on the back. So, yeah.
All right, and now like for the last DVD for this update. This one I ordered from Amazon.ca last first day, and this one came today. I know some of you all fans that who hates this show, but I really liked it, so I respect your opinion. And plus, because of this, I heard like this show like was addicted to many of these shows, like which was What's New Scooby Doo, The Fairy Odd Parents, and Danny Phantom, and Wild Thornberries, and Clifford the Big Red Dog, and SpongeBob SquarePants. So this kind of looks like nice, so that's the main reason why I bought it, because I like this show, like, as the one, like, as I already heard. But I still respect your opinion if anybody else, like, who hates this show, but really, I like this show. And I actually did tape up this sticker that thing as you could see, because when I got it out of the shrink wrap, um, it turned out to be worse, so I actually did have to tape that, but whatever and to be honest i kind of like this design of the desk it has steven on it inside this blue background like which on a desk like which was really nice i liked it two two of these shows clarence and the adventure time these two i did not like but except this show this show i really liked it a lot this is the show like which I like, not these two. It sucked. So yeah. Alright, and now like that is it like for this VHS DVD update for um March. Um let me let me go take a look at my calendar right now. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Hold on. Let me take a look. Um, uh, let's see. Um, like, yeah, that was the VHS DVD update for March 25th, 2019. Done. So. And I have another one feature tape coming in, like which I already ordered from eBay on last Thursday also, like and it still has yet to came, like which I will list it down in the comments below. Well like if hopefully like if there's more like one of these comments below like in this video, so alright, so like yeah, that was the end of the update video. So that's it. I'll see you all later everybody. This is Mustafa the VHS DVD Blue Events Bus 5 signing out.